What is going on, Fam Jam? It is another edition of Yeehaw or Hell Nah right here at Georgia. And we're going to do another Jason Is One off the new album, Weather Veins, for you today. This one's called This Ain't It. Now, I was able to find a lyric video. Hopefully, uh, it makes it a little bit easier if you can read through the lyrics as well. Keep up with me. Um, Again, Weather Veins has been about two, two and a half weeks. It's not how long it's been out, maybe three. Uh, but it's been blowing up, especially around Nashville. Uh, I've seen it a lot on Twitter. Now, my Twitter is conformed to me, so I see a lot of Jason Isbell stuff. But uh, everything that I've heard so far has been absolutely fantastic. A lot of emotion, a lot of uh, empathy invoking the lyrics. And I anticipate this being just the same. So let's dive into This Ain't It by Jason Isbell and the 400 Unit. Fam Jam, let's go. First off, I'm much more like <laughs> hoping for a happier song. It started off happier than the rest of them. Um, so the first couple of licks, great. I love hearing him play guitar. Let's hope. This one is a little bit less heavy from a lyric standpoint, but we shall see. Let's do this. there felt like a, a Dwayne Almond. That felt like being in Macon, Georgia around an Almond Brothers feel. That lick right there. So I went to school in Macon, uh, listened to a lot of Almond Brothers. I uh, actually got uh, to meet Greg once uh, before he passed, RIP. And that just felt so Almond Brothers right there. So maybe he's drawn a little bit of that Southern rock. Uh, on this one, love this song. This one, this one's just great. It feels it's very kick-ass. <laughs> it's take no prisoners. This one's pretty fun right now, so I'm on board. Baby, let me take you home. You love the place. I got extra space. I stay
much all my brothers here. So good. so good and uh, the lyrics are good the melody is better and that's saying something for something written by Jason Isbell um, I get the the story that he's trying to tell or the perspective that he's coming from uh, and building building up you know but man that melody just and I like I said there's a lot of Almond Brothers influence to me it's what it feels like, and that's not a bad thing. That's not like, oh, he's just ripping off. No, no, no. I'm not saying that's negative at all. I love that classic Southern rock from uh, Almond Brothers, Skinner, that feel, that tone. Uh, and it was just like, uh, for anybody that played Guitar Hero when you played uh, Jessica, it just flowed. It was so easy and solid. So a double, the first ever double. Yeah! Yeehaw! Right here at Georgia. Because, man, that one, to me, may be the song for me to listen on repeat. I cannot listen to Death Wish on repeat. I uh, love the song, but it is intense. King of Oklahoma, intense. Uh, this one is, is much less of that, and this may be the song of the album for me. Uh, in just easy listening, this one's great. I haven't heard a bad song on the album yet. We talk about uh, albums of, of what kind of album can you listen to every song and not skip one. And ACDC's Back in Black's one. Uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller is another one that kind of goes along in that cast. Right now, I wouldn't skip anything on Weather Veins. Uh, I don't think I skipped anything on Southeastern either uh, for Jason. But man, this one, oh, such a gem, such a treasure. And I cannot wait to see him play this live. I can close my eyes and feel like I'm listening to this song and I'm looking at Red Rocks and just turning around and seeing the crowd and being in the middle of that environment. And that makes my heart so happy, man. So that is what I'm thinking about right now. If you're a Jason Isbell fan and he's coming to Red Rocks, get your ass there. It is so worth it. Fly to Denver, take a weekend or the, a two-day weekday trip, whatever. Go to Red Rocks to see him. It's that good. I've only got the privilege once and it was amazing. And it is totally worth it to go see him. And I, this song, I can just feel he would just go do something like John Mayer would do and just have one of those solos that's a three, four, five, six minute solo. And nobody's going to care because they're just going to enjoy the music. So definitely check this out. If you haven't checked out Weather Veins, go check it out on Spotify, Apple Music, any of that stuff that you listen to. Come back here to YouTube and hit that subscribe button and 
YouTube will let you know when I upload new stuff. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you have, we appreciate it so much. And hit that little notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I upload. And then you'll be like, hey, is there a new Jason song? Maybe. Hmm? Uh, so until next time, Fam Jam, we appreciate you guys right here from Georgia. But until then, I'm out.